TVT and watching the comeback potential of it. But uh, we are game number two here in the Ting Open. Once again, just a little bit of shout out to Ting. And guys, if you're looking to check out their website, bttv.ting.com is the best way to let them know that you came from the channel, that you en were enjoying the cast enough to check out their website. Spawning in the bottom left side of Dusk Towers, however, it's going to be the Red Terran player alive. In the top right as the Blue Terran player, it is Janair's Cure. So there is no exaggerating. When you've got, say, five times the amount of tanks, when you have almost 3-3 three, three over 1-1 one, one, and tank weapon upgrades, in every way that makes sense, if you were to describe that game at that precise moment to somebody who was not watching the game, it sounds like Cure was going to win. He was just alive. He was up a base. He was up two bases even. Like, there's just so many ways that game was going better for him. But alive, man, if he had played any more scared, tentative, or defensive that game, he would have lost without question. His yeah. aggression, and it wasn't like wild aggression either. Like He was actually precisely playing exactly how he meant to uh, after, he started, after he stopped making mistakes. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was exactly how alive wanted to play it out, and it was so well executed. Yeah. Cure... I think realized that he dropped the ball with the last two army fights and might be a little more cautious with his actual fights this game. Uh, I mean, you're doing so much damage, you're dropping in two locations at once, repeatedly on the one location, stopping them from mining on a third base, kill the third base. You might start playing a little fast and loose with your tank drops, thinking that, oh, I gotta have a bigger army supply. And I guess never just really noticing, I suppose, the, uh, the, the tanks. I'm not noticing, like, just not utilizing the tanks with the fullest capabilities, Ooh. whereas Ooh. Alive did. And is, he's also stealing a gas. <laughs> that is, uh... That's, that's, that's Alive, I guess, today. <laughs> also blocked out a gas from Protoss earlier. Uh, you do want a second gas! Like, you just, you, you have to get one, actually. You can't stay on one gas forever, uh, unless you're gonna get, like, a super, stupidly quick third base. Oh. He's actually chipping away quite a bit at the reactor there, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, not only does this gas timing kind of screw with, you know, getting a faster starport, it, but just buying that little bit of time, this guarantees if this game were to be, say, for example, Banshee versus Banshee, a live out of wins. Because we all know in Banshee versus Banshee, it's already tight enough that you're like, okay, first Banshee to the other base wins, but uh, not, not in this situation. So buying a little bit of time with that gas and making sure that there's not going to be the fastest possible anything coming his way. Yeah. I still, I, I still don't know if that's worth it, but it's it's interesting to see. I, I think so. You know, again, back to the, the gas. The uh, gas is not that much quicker, but the minerals are a lot more in Legacy of the Void. So you, you do have a surplus at certain points, especially if you're also teching up, which is what you do in TVT. Only Marine King has tried to not tech up in TVT after a <laughs> command center, and it only went well once out of like the six times that he tried. Ah, uh, Marine King. Yeah. So we do have, what is this, similar builds? Yeah. Yes. Actually, identical builds. So Widowmine uh, drops are very interesting to me because uh, uh, obviously we know it doesn't blow up the SCVs automatically. and The Marines are that fast damage going to execute all the really low ones. But it feels like every time we've cast this recently, it gets caught and handled so easily. Yeah. Uh... We'll see what happens here, though, when they're both going for similar builds. Cure does get the faster follow-up tank, and Alive gets the faster follow-up Viking, but only, like, seriously, by, like, seconds here. Uh, they're going to pass each other in the nights, actually not see each other. Just a little bit of space between them. And that's going to be quite awkward. This... Nope, this Reaper's not going to see it either. Nope, just all Hellion. Okay, Cure's actually okay. going to get there first. Yeah? Yeah? There's not yeah. enough to defend, not till that tank's out. Uh, the tank and the Viking are on the way out, though. Immediately pulls the SCVs. We'll definitely want to pull one SCV into the Marines, uh, like to. he's trying to do. Even just picking up, there. picking up, uh, forcing the pickup is still pretty good. Obviously, that would have mine. He's gonna have to scan for, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. That, that does suck, but it's just because his own would of mine drop did not go off, so it's not even a scan for a scan. Now, the medevac's alive, but the Viking's right there, so he's going to have to go the other way around and just try and hope that Kira does not figure that out. Uh, third TCs are identical. Timing. The double uh, engineering base for Kira. Oh, okay, he's going to be the best That is good. That is getting three SCVs. That's not too bad. So, total of like seven? No, eight killed not uh, for Kira. Not too Kira. shabby. Down by ten workers now, but alive is used to being in that position. 
Well, <laughs> later on in the game, it's more acceptable. This stage, it's gonna sting. Yeah. Uh, 10 SVs down early in the game is I worse mean, than 30 SVs down in the later part of the game. Like, the, the thing about that last game was that it was always in favor of Cure. Cure had the faster natural command center, he was up 8 SVs most of the time, and it even had the faster third. So, just like, all that combined still makes that last game totally one that Cure lost more than Alive won, but damn. Uh, so it's the joke. So the jokes. That's, that's kind of cool. The wind mine being used to pick off the Viking was nice, and now it's blocking out the command center for a little bit of time. Yeah, we didn't have to force that scan earlier, but it will be used again. Looks like drop <sighs> was back towards the main. This time it's just two tanks, though. What? That's weird. That's weird. It's like, <laughs> it's like immortal drops. He's actually, oh, wrap around. These are the Marines from earlier. He brings back home to catch the medevac. Oh, that's so cool. He's not going to, like... He's They're dodging and weaving here, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is well well avoided by Kira, but that's still cool out of Alive to try and go for that. Uh, of course, this one mine, again, going to burn a scan of some variety to actually land the command center, so... Hmm. Uh, uh, alive is still alive. down by a quite amount of workers while this goes on. Yeah, he brought his Viking over, I guess, to deal with the tanks and also bring along with his tanks, thus moving it out of position to scout Kira's drop into the natural. Ooh. He can't really afford to lose too many more workers either. It is it is getting a little bit dire. He's also actually abandoned by accident the Marines that he unloaded to catch that tank. There we go. Now picks him up. Scoops him up. Drop goes off on the natural base. Attack heads towards that third of cure. But that third base attack... I don't know, oh, Zombie. Even with two tanks... <laughs> yeah, maneuvering Ooh. this is going to be difficult. Uh, he can definitely pick off a couple of things like a heli and a couple of Marines maybe. But kind of limited in the damage he can do in this situation. The third, or the natural, rather, is not being cleaned up. Yeah, I'm just going to tap out. Mm. Yeah, that was going pretty poorly. I was, I was keeping an eye on purpose here, guys. This actually was the few, one of the few times I wasn't being super bad with observing. Because it was whether Alive could do any damage. Maybe he catches his opponent's tanks on siege. Maybe the Marines run into that tank fire. That would be his key back into it. But that drop, we knew was not going to get cleaned up before it even started. So... Little bit messy, but ties up the series now 1-1. We're going to go to game three. Hopefully this one won't take too long. We don't want to keep uh, Rogue and Seed waiting for too long. And of course, uh, the winner of this will play Patience in the top half of the bracket. Patience, who has apparently had to play no games yet today, as Blaze did forfeit. <laughs> and so Maru good. forfeited versus Blaze in the lower bracket, so... Yeah, it looks like there's not going to be a lot of lower bracket competition. <laughs> So whoever just stays until the end is yeah. going to be qualified. Basically, just don't tap out, and you're almost there. <laughs> like, actually, look at the bottom bracket. Seriously. Whoever loses this game, I think, is the one that goes on to fight against BKGCN. Um, so, uh, I mean, that guy was <laughs> I, I think, not here. I think that's actually a walkover as well. So that's uh, three walkovers, essentially. Or three rounds baller. worth of walkovers. You basically get to the semifinals. <laughs> Trap is still stuck, surprisingly, and loses round one. Uh, playing Coffee MS. Yeah, I wonder who that is. All right, well, game number three, ace match time at the top right side of the map, playing for Jin Air. It's going to be the red Terran player, Cure. In the bottom left, as the blue Terran player, it is alive. Again, it's almost like StarCraft art, looking at the contrast of Game 1 versus Game 2. Just how different two players of this skill can be, and how different the, the results can be. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Alive just could not make up from the deficit he had last game. But he could the game before. Orbital Shipyard is a lot uh, more like Dust Towers than Layer Light Crest, though. And I think that first game did depend somewhat on the map and the map positions that they found themselves in uh, being able to abuse that choke for instance what if cure had taken the other third base like he was originally planning on on doing yeah that could have changed things uh dramatic drastically uh but there's also hey a second uh reaper on the way for cure to actually for noble shipyard hey, when he's it's not uh, not unheard of when it comes to TVT, but it is one of those things that's important not to let scout. So as the SCV gets over here, does Cure slap down the supply depot right away to stop him? It's going to be pretty important. I uh, can't. He has enough minerals. But well, he's actually not going to go scout. So He's like, hey, everything looks hunky-dory. It's going to be a Reaper from there. So it's his own reactor. So funny enough, actually, he can keep up with production if he realizes it. 
Uh, right. He may be doing his own version of it. I mean, it is really odd to just see a reactor come down like this blindly. Yes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this obviously isn't made to be a counter, but it is something where he may have intended to do his own version of Two Reapers. Very possible. The uh, Two Reaper production has started for Cure. And what about Alive? He's almost up to 100 gas. So I really hope he doesn't throw down a factory. Okay, he's going to throw down a factory and two marines. Uh, this this might not be too bad, though. Um, it depends we'll on how see. he handles these first couple of Reapers. Pull a couple of CVs, make sure it doesn't get too out yeah. of hand. Yeah. The first Reaper is no big deal. The second and third Reaper might be. Because uh, then by then, he'll probably be waiting on the Hellion. Oh, Jesus. That first Reaper dies, and this is just so easy for Alive. Yeah, so it's very important that lived. Uh, this kind of reminds me of that, that Reddit uh, gif that was up there recently where it's like the guy just left <laughs> losing the Reaper, but first oh. one almost goes down. This is why Alive's chasing out. Tries to go for the kill. Oh, jeez. Oh, but, you know, even the fact that he's pushed the Reaper so far back is already pretty nice. You know, they're not running around the Marines, throwing grenades in the SCV line, throwing grenades at all, actually, as the Marines are just taking them on head first. But now it's three Reapers versus five Marines. A Hellion is on the way already, though, and I think that this is not going to... It's really not going to end the game. I don't know if it's actually going to be even Probably. do damage. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing, though, is Cure did not over-dedicate to this. He did get a factory down himself, and he's not going for more Reapers as we speak. Uh, there's so many situations where we cast players just over-dedicate gas into Reapers, so they don't have a Banshee, a factory, or any sort of follow-up. Yeah. So, uh, taking on the Marines is not a bad idea. If all the Marines are down and the only the Hellion is left over, Reapers can deal with the Hellion. One Reaper goes down, however, still three is still okay to deal with the Hellion. Alive's not playing too, um, too, uh, what's the word? Dangerous, that's the word, uh, here, though. He gets a second Hellion and, uh, is already on up to a starboard. It's not too cavalier with his actions. There you go. What a fancy word. All right, so, uh, Liberator is an interesting choice to seek him out of this. I guess hoping that his opponent's not going to have appropriate anti-air. I mean, when you see a build like this, you know that there's a certain dedication and that the starport on their end is going to be delayed. It is a question of how long. It does seem like, though, between a cyclone, which is, again, basically the Terran Mothership core nowadays, and his own starport timing, though, I don't think Cure will be in too much trouble. No. This has turned out to be a pretty solid game for both players. Alive with that army supply, with the, the better units, I guess you could say, because the Reaper's only... They can help, but only so much. This one Reaper gets in the back and finally gets a kill. Yay! Uh, these other two also duck in, get a kill on that Marine. Uh, but the Liberator is sending out. We'll see how far and where that goes. Now, as far as this goes, I mean, it's weird openings. It's 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 really just chipping away at each other with nothing significant getting done. Cure does start this game with a bit of a supply deficit because of his opening, which eh, kind of yeah. sucks, but again, it's TVT and... Where other matchups, deficits like this are more clear cuts, TVT is a little bit more, uh, I don't know, subjective, I guess. This is a weird way to phrase it, but it all comes down to how the players handle these situations. I really do not appreciate here's SimCity right now. <laughs> he built around the second barracks that was supposed to be hidden, so his, <laughs> his stim ah. and his factories over there. Yeah, tanks down here. Good spot. Tanks drop to the third. A good spot. There's actually a lot of ways Alive can aggressively siege this up. And uh, mm -hmm. that Reaper actually sees the medevac coming. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that's a nice alert. Uh, and you do see him coming off to the right side. No, no, no need to worry yet about the left side. And, uh, well, Stim is a lot faster for a cure. Oh, it's not ready yet. Front? He's still down by six supply. Oh, you know what, though? He doesn't know about that clumped up building cluster. No, he doesn't. But even even then, like he might be able to take a very good engagement here. Uh, obviously, lose the command center, which is good because his third command center is later. The you know Kira can't really come down from there. I'm actually surprised Alive took this fight, but he's actually gonna take. He's, he is the one who's gonna take it. Yeah. Wow. Tank gets that shot. Pretty big deal. Viking will be able to make sure this medevac doesn't get too out of hand. Actually, it's not enough uh, support in the ground for this. But even just breaking the depots down at the front, uh, almost supply blocking here. We have a natural drop going down. It's not much, but it's going to be enough because he can't really split his forces. The second Alive pulls everything away from this to defend the natural, that's, or sorry, Cure, that is, Alive will pounce forward. Realizing this, too, this is, he's going to see the Marines and the, uh, the Viking, especially. This is some nice, nice pressure from Alive, who uh, was behind on the third command center and behind on the stim, uh, but just had an army, and, he, and he's actually using the army very well. Oh, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't pounce like I thought he would. 
The double engineering bays are actually already down for a live. He just hasn't actually used them. That's that kind of sucks. He would have had the tiniest bit of an upgrade lead, and now he's falling farther and farther behind. Did he forget? He has enough gas for sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, double drops sent off to the left side for cure. There it goes. Uh, that's still like a long time for uh that's that's about fifty seconds for Cure to have a lead in those upgrades. We'll see if it plays a part. The double uh, drops though are gonna be a lot more important. Uh, there's nothing defending the natural right now. Uh, a single tank comes back, but of course you can drop on that. So not the best defense. Yeah, and he abandoned one of his tanks on the other side of the map too. I'm curious what's going on with that. Uh drop is set up over here to counter perhaps, but in the meantime, these double drops are gonna drop directly on top of the tank, so almost no tank fire goes off for this. That's really unfortunate. SCV is going to get slaughtered for a live. We've seen him play at the deficit before, though, so I'm not going to count him out of this just yet, but this drop was fantastic out of cure. Yes. 22 SCVs killed and a turret, plus a tank, plus several Marines. Plus an army. <laughs> if he kills this army, a live's going to tap out. Wow. Like, that, that, that was very bad. That's this was brutal. A live's yeah. counter is not getting the damage that he wants to either. You know, as good as a live may be, cure, uh, this may be one of those drops that secures the game. I don't know. He's on a third, they're both on a third, so I guess it's not the end of the world, but uh, Live just can't get that damage done. Yeah. At least at least in that first game, he had an army slash damage to compete with. Now, as you pointed out, Cure's got an upgrade lead because Alive forgot those upgrades for so long. And uh, combat shields over non-combat shields. For the next, was that, minutes or so? Next 40 seconds? Alive actually is going to be at a huge disadvantage if he fights or yep. if he tries to fight. Yeah. Some up here just just brought it back up ten workers up thirty army supply up upgrades like this uh, from do that that tank pressure that seemed to be doing so well to a double drop that just has completely flipped the game. Cure is once again in a very very good position. He found himself in a similar position in the first game, however, and still ended up losing a pretty big army. That was not a much more even army supply though. That was like eighty to eighty six army supply or something like that. So. I don't know if Alive's going to be able to do the magic again. No, cross our fingers for him because he is one of our more favorite Terrans, but you're right, this is definitely not looking super hot. Um, and of course, for Cure, if he wins, advances to fight against Patience. If Alive brings it back, advances to fight against Patience. So either way, I hope their TVPs are looking good. Yeah. The, uh, they are going to cross each other here, okay, like just those medevacs last game. Uh, going to the back is a very abusive position on Orbital Shipyard, but okay, not the back, just kind of the corner. <laughs> it's a little, this is a little awkward. This is a lot more awkward. Oh, jam. Losing a lot of this marine cannon fodder is terrible. Drop in the main, make sure that this wasn't going to go well. And that is going to be Cure taking the series two to one. Congratulations. He goes on to face Seed. All right, well, with that, 